Wow, you guys are beautiful. You're beautiful. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Sure, I'm pretty. Okay, together, hair braid and everything. They're like smaller Clydesdales. I can't remember what he called them. These belong to the guy me and my brothers are working for. They have 20 something horses, a variety of them. We're coming over here to feed the horses for work. Do some other stuff. <laughs> Isn't that fucking cool? Huh? They're finicky creatures. Huh? That's cool. Yeah, dude. Fucking awesome. Oh! oh it's <laughs> it stumbled. Fell. Oh, man, is it all right? It broke his fucking leg. Dude. It probably does it a lot. The big clog hoppers. Clog bar. <laughs> yeah, slip. Good girl. Let's do it, Gallup. Yeah, that's so badass. She's a good girl. Yeah, that's a good girl. <laughs> Big old feet. Wow. It's funny how they run, the Gallup. Carter K. River, y'all. LJ, Georgia. Stop, check it out before we head to the job site. It's beautiful. My brother's uh, old lady, her family used to uh, own the uh, kayak rental service right here. Look at this, y'all. I thought it might be a part of an old steel. I don't know. I don't think it's a burn barrel. I don't know what it is. It's been all this, this rock formation. I thought it might be a steel. Oh, beautiful here, y'all. Maybe see a black bear. Do it. It was old steel, y'all. I believe that's what it was with the rock formation around it. She has got one hole in the bottom of the barrel. From what I've seen from watching Moonshine, it looks like the kind of setup they use. And I don't know why there'd be a rock formation around the barrel like that. But it's gotta go, so. Document it. Hey, look at the way that rocks were placed there. That's what I'm saying. Why would it have a rock formation around it? I bet that's what it was, an old steel. Moonshine. Yeah, that's pretty neat. This is a few days later from um, when we pulled this steel up. If that's what it was, I'm pretty sure it was. So you had an opening coming up right here, or I guess you had a pipe or something coming out of the creek. I believe that was a steel, y'all, from the images I, saw, I seen on Google. That's what it looked like to me. Anyway, I gotta get back to work. I can't remember what they call these guys. It's like fluorescent. Them rakes that tore my hand. <laughs> Got tender hands. I think he'd be better in a creek. We'll smash him up here. I'm under my street. They are beautiful. I can't remember what they're called. Some kind of skink. They are beautiful. See you, buddy. Coming at you! Holy shit. <laughs> I'm glad you gave my heads up. <laughs> yeah. I wonder how long it's been there. Snow set, it's pretty wild. Hey everybody, hope you're all doing well. So I'm back at the creek where I found my nicest flint point a few years ago and where I, uh, I filmed the blue clay looking stuff that people were saying maybe Maya blue clay. It's the first time I've been over here in a year. I'm working my way up this feeder creek where I found my nicest flint point and I start seeing this blue stuff again. The stuff's still washing out of banks and stuff. Whatever it may be. That's the first chunk of blue stuff right there. We're definitely gonna see some more in a few, but as I work my way up the creek, I'm keeping my eyes peeled. Look right here. There's some more, y'all. Yeah. See how blue that stuff is? 
there's veins of it up here in the bank i'll show you when we get up here but i've still never seen anything quite like this can't find anything like this on the internet but um from what i've read the uh geologists have uh since discovered that the pigment in the uh maya blue paint the paint that they use uh it was came from georgia so but i gotta answer that phone <laughs> i'll give it to you well you hear it all some more blue stuff big old chunk <sighs> there that is beautiful man it's crazy it's washing down this far now i'm hundreds of yards away from that feeder creek away from the source wow that's crazy how does something so heavy wash so far down the stream? That's a cool little scraper or something, y'all. Look at the edge on this. See that indention right there? Might be where a stick, they had a stick on it. And had it tied off to a stick or something. That's definitely native. I got a pocket for uh, work cord. There they are, right here. Look at them. Yeah, what are they? Like the yeah, them big old school of sucker fish, y'all. Look at them. Oh my God. There's a hundred of them. Wow! We need to spearfish these bad boys. Jeez Louise, look at them. See them red stripes on them? They almost look like salmon. I thought they were carpet first. Look at them, look at them. I'm gonna scoop one up. Look at them. <laughs> wow, dude. Hey y'all, this is the first piece of flint I've seen back here. I think it's a brook stump. Let's pull it to see what it is. Oh. It's more like a flake knife or something, but that's the first piece of flint I've seen. There's no flint back here. It's like a, uh, probably a flake knife. It's a pretty flint. Little fear before. Decided to hit it again since we had so much rain last weekend. Hope it's something washed up. Sure enough. Wow. That was worth a walk right there. That is cool. Thank you, Native Spirits. Get back to you. Slipping. <laughs> oh, don't pinch me. How much you oh, I busted. Sharp, y'all. Oh, nice piece. Killed a piece. Nice piece right there. I like that. Thank you, Native Spirits. Sweet. Thank you. Check it out, y'all. Got me a deadhead out in this field. Cool. A little six-pointer. Cool. That's the first deadhead I found in a few years. That's cool. I just seen um, six deer right here in the corner. Two of them had racks still. I thought they all dropped the racks by now. But nope. Still looking for my first shed, y'all. I've been looking for decades. I found a, probably at least ten deadheads over the years. Never found a shed, though. I'm still looking. Yeah, I was finding all these bones out here. The coyotes might have got this. A lot of coyotes around here. It's a decent little, decent little six though. Heck yeah, y'all, that's cool. Look, girls, one, two, one, two, 
three, there's at least six deer right there on that wood line. See them? My phone won't zoom any further. I'm headed out and I looked out and there they were. Okay, that's, that's at least a dozen deer I've seen in this field on my way out. Crazy. They're moving around today, y'all. Thanks for watching. Love you. Thank you.